immediately I feel that torque. I get on it just like I do in my Grand Marquis and uh, the brakes are way better than and that torque though. Hey guys, so I am in Russell's SRT8 right now, Chrysler 300, and as you well know, this is, of course, the top of the line version of the car. Now, the thing that I have with these cars is that the police versions are, of course, the Chargers, and then you have the Challengers, and those two cars are just on the radar. When you see them, you know exactly what you're looking at. This one, though, not as much, you know, it has that classic styling that is under the radar, but as soon as you get on the brakes like that, it just brakes so much better than my car. Man, this is so, so different. And the suspension also. Let me just take it for a little bit and then uh, we'll put it in sport mode, let you see the difference. Yeah, it's, that, a, that, it's, it's actually, you it's feel huge. it. Yes. <laughs> Cause right now, like even going over those road tracks, you know, she was she was nice and comfy yeah. and stuff like that. You put her into sport mode, That's and everything done. tightens up. And it's, <laughs> da, 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 da. You feel every little bump on the road, and it's hydraulic uh, steering rather than electronic, so it's really good. You get a good feedback and a good feel of the road. That's a sport. That's a sport mode. Yeah, you already feel it. it's already starting to kind of I won't say jar you, but man. Yeah, this is a huge difference. It's no longer as comfortable. And there's back up. <laughs> that's, that, is, that is so weird. And that is not even full throttle. That's maybe a halfway. This thing is just freaking awesome. Now the engine in this is of course a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 and it is upgraded from the previous versions that had the 6.1 liter now, the previous version also had 425 horse this has 470 and the same amount of torque and you can really feel it you you saw it you know it just puts you in your back seat and the other thing that i really like about these cars versus the older ones is that the styling on these is so much better we're coming up here on the red light which is you know always a good thing in a car like this because you have that much power at your disposal. This is great stuff. You know, always go into launch mode. <laughs> it has launch mode? <laughs> Can I mat it? Hold foot on the brake. All right. All right, with your left foot. Wait till that goes yellow, then slam on the gas with your right foot, and then all you do is let off the brake. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> You know, my heart's kind of racing right now. You know that, right? Because I'm in this it's strange gonna car. It's going to be fun. You'll be fine. <laughs> All right, there you go. Floor it. Yeah, that's spinning through first. That's already 80. This thing is freaking amazing. <laughs> I can see why you why you got this car. This is this is fun. This is fun. This car is probably just as heavy as my Grand Marquis is, and I wish I had this engine in my Grand Marquis. Let me tell you guys, this is freaking great. This is what a family hauler is supposed to be. Talk about that. You have more than enough space in the back to put four adults, just like in my Grand Marquis. The trunk is a nice size too, so you can take this on long road trips, take it on vacations. And like I said, this thing is absolutely comfortable to drive and so subdued. It actually kind of reminds me of the CTSV that I reviewed in the past. And when it comes down to the suspension, this is not even sports mode. <laughs> and it's just completely level and comfortable. And I'm already doing 70, you can only do 55 over here. It, it is also quiet. It is not very loud at all. It, this car is completely 100% bone stock. So, one of the things, did you want to get exhaust on this, you said? Uh, yeah, I wanted to do some exhaust. I thought about doing uh, uh, resonator deletes. 
because the resonators kind of what keeps the engine quiet and it opens up after about 4,500 RPMs, the resonators uh, change up and everything and the exhaust kind of opens up. As well as after 4,500 RPMs, the, uh, it is a push rod engine, so it's only got that one cam in it. Yeah. So it actually has uh, uh, different timing and stuff that it switches into after 4,500. So the engine completely kind of changes its tone when you get up in the RPM ranges or when you give it a certain amount of gas. Oh, look at that. What is that? Uh, that's the 50. And that's a Just, S. Yep, there you go. And if he wasn't in the turn lane. Yeah. Has awful small brakes to be the V8, though. That's a huge difference between these massive this, Yeah, it's, uh, believe me. These Brembos are, they're huge. Well, it is, you know, it's a heavy car. And that's always my thing. Anytime I've actually had it up to a certain speed, like, you know. <laughs> no, he didn't want to play. No, of course not, okay. because this is the SRTA. That's another thing that I like about this car is it doesn't advertise SRTA. Now, of course, you have the big brakes, you got the big wheels, but for a layman, they really have to know what this car is before they know what they're looking at. The only SRTA badge that is on this car is on the trunk lid. That's amazing, because usually that stuff is everywhere. You know, you have it on the front, you have it on the sides, not with this car. I just put the car in sport mode and I can really feel the difference. Like I said previously, it is starting to jar you a little bit. Like, you put coilovers on your car, this is what it would be like. But this, I wouldn't want it all the time. But in this case, when I, I'm gonna do this U-turn up here, I'm gonna get on it a little bit, see what kind of body roll this car gives. absolutely zero body roll when this mode is active very similar to the CTSV very similar this car is just one of those cars that uh, you know if you don't have CTSV money this should be on your short list it doesn't look like a cop car so cops are gonna leave you alone for the most part it has seating for four which what the CTSV has as well this car is slightly bigger on the inside not much, but slightly bigger. So that is another plus on this car versus the CTSV. And when it comes down to build quality, it looks great on the inside. These dials are freaking awesome. I love the way this looks. The previous version looked kind of like a rental car. This one, not so much. Uh, if you don't do the interior, it's uh, dash and everything is actually real leather. This is actually real carbon fiber. Uh, Seats in the middle are actually suede, it's not cloth, like a lot of people think. Yeah, I noticed that. You know, it's, out it's of actually... all the cars that I've had, I had a Peugeot 405, and it put the seats in it from a T16, 405 T16, which is the all-wheel drive version, and that has suede in the middle as well. And I love the suede versus the leather. My wife's car is leather on the inside, and it just burns you the hell up. That suede does not do that, and the added benefit to suede is that it actually holds you in the seat way better than leather does. Leather, I'm all over the place in the Grand Marquis. Of course, it's also a bench seat, but in any other car that I've had leather, all over the place. Just mad for the time. This is just, <laughs> I love this car. This car is great. And I love how the steering wheel on the bottom is flat. It's like very, well, race car, because race car. Yeah, let me try that manual mode. And those brakes, again. <laughs> braking too. That works perfectly. That guy probably was going, what the hell? <laughs> well, as a conclusion on this car, I mean, this is just a car that you would want to have. You don't have CTSV money, but you do have money for this. This is definitely a contender, you know. It is quick, it is fast. 
You know it beats a three valve Mustang because I've had a run in with an SRTA charger that completely waxed me. This is just the car to have. It is under the radar, it just does not show the whole cop thing off, and it just it it just goes. It just goes. And it actually automatically shifts down for you. It does not leave it in gear. And right now, because of the torque on this thing, I'm still in third gear. And it just rolls around serene like a purring kitten. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I'll see you on the flip side.